This is Tim at Highland Hill Farm and Michael. They've been working on a 1953 Massey Harris pony tractor and they had trouble with it because of a couple of issues. Tim, tell us what the issues were. Well, we got it started. Everything seemed fine and started to lose oil pressure all of a sudden. So we started investigating, took off lines, we had oil now and then, a lot of air bubbles and we decided We've got to shut it down and start checking it out. So that's what we did, and I ended up taking the oil pan off and found that the suction screen was totally covered with crude, gummy oil. So I sprayed a cleaner on it and reinstalled the pan, reinstalled oil, and now the pressure seems to be holding after a number of minutes. Before. Approximately, approximately what pound pressure do you have on that oil gauge? Uh, right now it's very difficult to tell on that gauge. I would say about 20. That gauge should probably be replaced. But as long as we've got oil pressure up on the gauge, we're not really concerned about the exact oil pressure. So uh, everything looks good to go now. Okay, and what did you do? It had been setting for how long? Oh. Man, close to 30 years, I heard, somewhere like that. I don't know exactly. Okay, and what did you do to the gas tank and the gas filter? Oh, the gas tank was cleaner shape than I thought it would be, but we uh, took a rag with some cleaner on it. I took a long stick and rubbed it around, cleaned out what I could. Then we used a shop vac to clean up all the other particles. And then in the process we had to remove the sediment bowl, that's a little glass container underneath to catch the sediment. And we had a little bit of a problem, the old gasket just deteriorated. So Michael here had to go home and make a new one out of rubber. But I think he's going to have to do it again because we've got a little bit of a leak. <laughs> but there's nothing serious on this old girl. Right. Uh, then we discovered our oil problem. I can get that. I think we've got that solved now. And we'll move on. And by tomorrow, we'll find another little problem. So that's it for today. Okay, now I got this tractor probably 35 years ago down in Huntington Valley. A man was selling his farm and it was being bought by the Pitcairns of the Pitcairn Estates. And he called me up and asked me to clean out his barn and he gave me all his junk and this was in it. So, uh, he didn't want to see it scrapped, so I kept my word and kept it from getting scrapped all these years. And we just let it set in the back of our barn underneath an overhang. And it would sit there till Michael here decided he wanted to fix it up. And so we got her running. Now we won't be using this tractor, we'll just clean it up and paint it. And it'll be a display tractor for our yard. We sell trees and shrubs at Highland Hill Farm. And that's where this is located, in Fountainville, PA. Now, if you need trees or shrubs, remember, give us a call, because we specialize in putting in trees and shrubs for people who hate their neighbor. If you need screening and buffering, we're the company for you. We'll see you. Thank you very much. You're on. If you have any old equipment for trees or for farming, just let us know. We'll be interested in buying it. We use it on our farm here to grow trees and shrubs at Highland Hill Farm. If you'd like to support us, you can give us a call and ask what we have available. Our number is 215-651-8329. Give us a call at Highland Hill Farm for your trees and shrubs, 215-651-8329. We ship from Fountainville, PA, Milan, PA, Lenore, North Carolina, and McNinville, Tennessee. Thank you.